Hi, pilgrims. It's that time. It's time to start packing for your Camino. What are you gonna bring with you? Hmm. What are you not gonna bring with you? What are you gonna bring with you and then end up donating later on? Or what did you forget to bring with you that you really needed? I am gonna go through all of the things that I brought with me, the things that I donated, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the mistakes and a little bit about the good things that I did. So let's get ready to pack. If you guys are like anybody else who has prepared for the Camino, you have spent hours and hours researching the perfect gear to bring. I know I did. I would watch YouTube videos. I would follow blogs and posts. I read everything that people were bringing, things they wish they would have brought. and. I, I enjoyed the process of going through my gear and figuring it out and slowly accumulated everything that I would need. I'm gonna show you what I packed and everybody has their own philosophy on this. Some people bring almost nothing with them. I'm a girl and I can be a little bit high maintenance so that's some of the logic behind this, but let's go ahead and get started with the clothes. So these are all the clothes that I brought. I brought, a I actually ended up bringing two pairs of shorts, but they aren't in this photo. Some leggings, a yoga dress that, I just call it a yoga dress, but it was just a little cotton dress that I got at Columbia and I wore it all the time. I brought three shirts, a tank top, I brought this waffle fleece that I got at REI. I love that thing and I ended up giving it to a girl who was going into the mountains, so I, I lost that. Here are my delicates that I brought. I brought sports bras, which I very much disliked. I wish I would have just brought my regular bras. It would have been so much more comfortable. And then I brought some smart wool socks. These are winter weight smart wool and I wish I would have brought the summer weight smart wool. Okay, pilgrims, let's talk about shoes. When I decided to make these videos, I wanted to share my experience with you and not tell you what to do because you are gonna eventually figure it out and whichever way you figure it out, it's the best way to do it because it works for you. I enjoyed seeing what other people did. I learned from them and that's the position that I'm coming from. But I am gonna tell you this, the biggest mistake I made was with shoes and it's the most important piece of gear that you could possibly have. Everybody said buy your shoes one entire size bigger. I wear a size seven, so I should have bought a size eight. But instead, I bought a size seven and a half and my feet were shredded the entire time. I got a pair of trail runners, which were not, <laughs> they weren't bad, but they also were not good. I wish I would have gotten a one size larger hiking boot because this was not a walk, it was a hike. So with that being said, these are the shoes that I brought with me. There is my Kako sandals, and forgive me if I'm pronouncing those wrong. I did like those. I didn't love them, but I like them, and I wore them quite a bit, especially when my feet were so bad I could not put my shoes on. These are just Adidas trail runners is what they're called. They're great for doing short hikes where you don't have to walk over rocks and boulders and all every single type of surface that you can think of for the Camino they did not work for me I hated them so much they were a size seven and a half and possibly if I had gotten a size eight they would have been better and then this pair of flip-flops I ended up leaving behind and I regret that because I bought another pair and I'm I'm not really sure I would have gotten through the rest of the Camino without another pair of flip-flops. I wore them every evening when I got home or when I got to my albergue, just around the albergue, just to give my feet a little bit of a rest. Here's what else I pack. These are all items that I brought with me. I have my, I call it my Eliza Thornberry hat. It's a little bit of a safari hat with sun protection. I wore that quite a bit. I have my sleep sack, which I'm gonna rave about in a few minutes. One of the best gear decisions I ever made. Of course, you have to have a, 
a rain cover for your backpack, you don't realize that you need rain gear until you need it. So if you think that you're taking up extra room bringing a rain jacket, rain pants, or a, a backpack cover, you're not because when you get stuck in a torrential downpour, you're never so thankful for those things as just being able to pull them out and continue on. So that's where I have my, my pink rain jacket. I have this little microfiber cloth that was almost like a little dish cloth. I used it every day for everything. And then I would just wash it with my laundry every night. So then I have um, this little packing cube here that has a whole bunch of stuff in it that's not clothing. And here's what's in here. I had one microfiber towel, my glass case, Vaseline for my feet. I did use Vaseline on my feet a couple times, but it didn't work. Nothing worked for my feet. My feet were just shredded, blistered, bloody, the entire Camino. I had massive problems. But you know what? I got through it and I finished the Camino. I brought Q-tips with me. I have a a little bar from the store called Lush. It's a shampoo bar and I also use it just as body soap and it lasted me for the entire Camino. I think I ran out on day 30 and it took me 32 days so it, it was a great choice. And then I have a little bottle of conditioner because as mentioned before I'm a girl. I have this little hairbrush that I brought with me. And then I also brought these little packets of laundry detergent that I happen to have laying around the house. I actually wish I would have brought more of those because I use them quite a bit. The bungee cord, don't know why I brought that because I never once used it, but nevertheless, it came with me. Okay, so in that other bag right there, the pink one that looks like a little bit of a makeup bag, here's what was in there. Just like all my little personal stuff sunscreen, deodorant, I brought an extra pair of contacts, a little bit of contact solution. Yes, I bought a razor with me. I have my toothbrush, my toothpaste, sunglasses, z -Quil, my z -Quil tabs, oh my God, they are a lifesaver if you need to sleep. And then that BB cream right there, that was just like lotion that I would put on my face because I needed to have some sort of sunscreen on my face, that was a great decision that I made too. I also brought those those um, diaper pens for hanging clothes to dry and I ended up not needing them. I gave them away to somebody who needed them for something. So all of that and my sunglasses, which I proceeded to step on my first day in Sanjin, but it's okay, I got another pair. Here are some other things that I brought with me. My Camino guide, I brought a baggie full of baggies and I used those all. I used them every single day. Sometimes I was able to give them away. I put food in them. I constantly needed to have baggies and I know that they're not very easy to, easy to find and they don't take up much room and they don't weigh much. I brought a journal with me and I also brought a calendar so I could keep track of what I was doing every day. I brought a little pocket knife that I, that was a last minute thing that I brought. It was actually my stepson's Boy Scout knife. I use that every day. So if you are going to only have a carry-on and you can't bring a carry-on, don't worry, you can buy a pocket knife in Sanjin. They have plenty of them and they're very affordable. So here's my fanny pack. I love this fanny pack. I still have it. I still use it. But for the purposes of the Camino, it was not a good choice because I couldn't fit my Pilgrim's Passport in there. I ended up getting another fanny pack later that I'll show you. But here, I'll show you what I put in this fanny pack. So here's all the stuff that was in my fanny pack. I had my cell phone, I had headphones, my passport in a, in a plastic baggie. I had an extra plastic baggie to put my Pilgrim's Passport in. Good thing. I had two different pouches for my two different currencies. I had, of course, you know, like a little Kleenex. I have that little pink thing right there is a little illumination. Didn't need it because anytime you need illumination, you could just use your phone for that. I also did bring a headlamp with me. I don't think that's in any of these pictures and I used my headlamp a few times, but it wasn't an absolute mandatory necessary thing. But I, the times that I'm ha I had it, I'm, I was glad that I did. 
So here's what everything looks like all together. This is everything that went into my pack. You could see up there in the corner that my Eliza Thornberry hat folded up into a little circle. I ended up not bringing my iPad with me, didn't need it. And then here's what it looks like. Everything packed up and this is how much it weighed. 15 pounds, that's without water. I also wanted to show you, this is everything that I removed before I packed. My daughter helped me get rid of all this. We, um, I removed it all, don't regret any of it. Then right here, this is me carrying my pack. Confession time. I hated my backpack, hated it. It was so uncomfortable. It was probably the worst gear decision I made other than my shoes. Shoes, number one, worst gear decision. Pack, number two, worst gear decision. And they are the two most important decisions that you need to make, but it's okay. I got through it because you know why? I got a new pack. So right here, if you're following the guide by John Beerley, on day seven, you arrive to this town more like a city, it's called Lagronia. In Lagronia, they have a store called Decathlon, but they don't pronounce it that way. They say Declatron or some sort of beautiful accent that the Spanish or the Italians say. Declatron is a huge sporting goods store where everything is affordable and wonderful. I bought a new backpack at Declatron. I also got a whole entire set of clothing so that I had three full sets of clothing and that way if I was ever feeling lazy I could skip a day without doing laundry. So I also got two new microfiber towels that were not a bad decision and I bought a pair of flip-flops. My new backpack was so comfortable. It sat down lower on my back did I mention that it was 36 euro? I think my pack from REI in America was $150. And when I got back to my albergue in Lagronia, I donotivoed that backpack, said goodbye to it with zero regrets because my new pack could not have been more comfortable. First of all, there was a way to zip it where I could get into the side of the pack and I didn't have to open it up and pull everything out to get what was in the bottom. It just fits so much better and I still have that pack today. It's right here. It's got these beautiful little pockets on the side. Easy to get to. Little pouches here. All kinds of stuff. If I ever did the Camino again I would use this exact same pack. It carried everything effortlessly. Also it does have a spot in here where you could put your camel back. Boom right in there. So let's talk about last minute decisions. The night before I left to go on the Camino, I went to Walmart and I bought a Camelback on a whim. I don't know why. I thought, well, if I don't need it, I don't need it. I needed it. It was so important. I filled it up every night before I went to bed and it had a little thing that you just drink out. Of. Oh my God. It, I can't imagine getting through the Camino without this Camelback. It was so cheap. If you get to Lagronia and you don't have a Camelback, anything that you need, you can find it at Decathlon. How did we get there? We took a bus. Luckily, I was hanging out with Italians and they could speak Spanish. Uh, they could understand Spanish and they asked the bus driver and the bus driver dropped us off at Decathlon. It was, it was, it was great. So another great decision that I made was this amazing sleep sack. I think it's called a cocoon sleep sack. It's very thin and you put it on, it, it, you could put it on just like you would a, like a, a jumping bag, you, you kind of shimmy in it and you, it's, it doesn't seem like it's warm, but it's extremely warm. And I like the fact that you get all the way in it and it kind of protects you from bed bugs. They can't get in the pack. So on the one night that I slept outside of my pack, I did get pretty attacked by some bed bugs, 
but you know what? It was one of my biggest fears and I got through it. And if you get attacked by bed bugs, you'll get through it too. They're just like mosquito bites, only they sound more terrifying. Another thing that I bought at Decathlon was this. Just a little, little, little pack that folds down, turns into this right here. And if you just need a little something for day that you don't want to tote your big bag, you could put your important stuff in here. And then the last thing that I got was a new fanny pack that fit my Pilgrim's Passport. So all of those were good de gear decisions that I made. Pilgrims, enjoy the process of gathering up your gear. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please ask me questions if you have any other questions. I feel like there's so much more I could tell you, but I also feel like it's a little bit much. But ultimately, at the end of the day, just know that the Camino provides whatever you need. So if you think you need it and you don't have it, the Camino will provide it for you. Buen Camino, everybody.